Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 11102. This is the latest insider preview build that includes pretty much nothing still. Um, Microsoft is still working on under the hood changes so features are still pretty scarce. Scarce? Scarce. They're still pretty scarce on the surface. Uh, there is a couple things, however. Uh, one change that was in 11,099, the build string. It's a little bit longer. Hooray! Since I didn't cover 11,099, I guess I should point that out. And the only new change in 11,102 is the fact that the back buttons now include a history toggle. So if we jump into a website such as the one and only winbeta.org, we can now right-click on the back buttons and actually jump back for our history. So if we go through a number of pages, let's click on this one. Edge is still a very bad performer in, a, in a, some of these preview builds. And then we go down here, so if we click on this article here, and then if we go down and click on another article, let's click on that, oh, never mind. Let's click on that one. If I right click up here, I now have all those pages in history and I can jump to either one of them very quickly. So let's go back to this article and it will load up just like that. Uh, this is a feature that's available in pretty much every browser ever. And Edge has been out for half a year now and it's only just received this feature. So, well, there you go, Edge is still catching up. Uh, no extension support just yet, although I should probably know this. There is a tick box here that now actually ticks on. In the 11,099, it didn't work. The tick now actually works, so you can actually enable it. But it doesn't do anything, so there's no way to enable extensions just yet. There might be a way to enable the extensions panel via some kind of file editing, which I haven't uh, dived into yet, so I have no idea if it works. But it, extensions could work, but officially, no, they're not working in this build just yet. So that's still to come for Edge. And of course, there are a number of other redstone specific features that are also set to be coming very soon but until then you're still left with pretty much nothing in these redstone builds which is fine really as long as we get to have the pro insider preview watermark on the desktop i'm happy and so should you be <laughs> anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one Bye bye